What's up? This is Mario, and welcome to Awesome Audio. In this video, we will talk about loudspeakers. There are different types of loudspeakers, but the most widely used one is the dynamic loudspeaker. Therefore, in this episode, I will focus on this particular type, referring to it simply as loudspeaker. A dynamic loudspeaker is mainly made up of the parts shown in the image, which altogether is known as a driver. An inductor, also known as a coil, is an electronic component used for many applications due to the fact that it's a simple rolled up wire. In this particular case, it is useful to us for its ability to produce a considerable magnetic field when a current passes through it, and the magnetic field intensity will depend on the electric current intensity. We should consider that a magnet has its own magnetic field, so if another magnetic field is near it, both elements will attract or reject, depending on the polarity of the magnetic fields. In the case of a loudspeaker, the magnetic field of the inductor will be varying in intensity as well as in polarity, since the electric current is also varying in intensity and polarity. So the magnet will be constantly pushing and pulling the inductor, making it move forth and back. The inductor will transmit this movement to the cone, and in turn the cone will push and pull the air particles in front of it, finally producing the sound wave. The spider is a mechanical support that maintains the loudspeaker's moving piece suspended and returns the cone to its central position when there is no longer a magnetic field pushing or pulling the piece. Ideally, because the movement pattern is related to the electric current, the sound wave produced would be very similar to the electric signal's wave. However, something interesting happens, which is that the loudspeaker's components have a phase response. This means that the electronic and mechanical components of the loudspeaker will delay the electric signal's different spectral components by different amounts. Therefore, even if the electric signal's components were in phase, in the acoustic wave they would come out of phase, and something similar to the square wave example in episode 10, the human ear, will occur. A wave with a different form will be produced, but it will sound the same because it has the same spectral components. Acoustic waves will not only be produced in the front of the cone, but also from the rear, only with an inverted phase. This is why when you have music playing in the car, it is possible to hear it clearly from the trunk. In this case, there is no problem because the front of the cone is isolated from the rear. But if they weren't isolated, the waves produced from the rear of the cone would interfere with the ones produced from the front, causing unwanted effects such as distortion, reverberation, and echo. To avoid this, the driver is usually put in an enclosure. There are many enclosure designs for loudspeakers. The most common one simply has a covering on the inside which traps and absorbs the rear acoustic waves. Without this absorbent material, the waves would simply travel back to the cone and interfere with its movement. Going back to the car example, we could then say that the trunk actually has a second function as an enclosure, especially when observing that it's covered by a carpet type material which is a good sound absorbent. Another common enclosure design is the base reflex enclosure. The purpose of this enclosure is redirecting low frequencies to an output port, so that they combine with the low frequencies produced by the front of the cone, resulting in more intense low tones. However, one needs to be careful on the design, especially with the tube length and aperture, again to not end up with unwanted distortions. Loudspeakers receive different names depending on the frequency range they work with. Woofers work with low frequencies, typically 60 to 250 Hz. Its name comes from woof, the onomatopoeia of a bark relating a dog's bark with low frequencies. This is the same origin of the subwoofer, which is simply a loudspeaker that works with even lower frequencies from 20 to 100 or 200 Hz. Midrange, as its name implies, works with middle frequencies, typically 250 Hz to 2.5 kHz. Tweeters work with high frequencies, typically 2 kHz to 20 kHz. Its name comes from tweet, the onomatopoeia of a chirp, relating a small bird's chirp with high frequencies. The size of the driver, as well as of the enclosure, are factors that determine the range of frequencies a loudspeaker will produce. There are also loudspeakers with more than a single driver in the same enclosure. This is for producing a larger range of frequencies using a single loudspeaker. In this case, the electric signal is separated in different frequency ranges using a crossover filter, to then send each portion to the corresponding driver. This filter is built with different configurations of resistors, capacitors, and inductors. In a future episode, we will talk about using capacitors and inductors as electronic filters. With that, we conclude this episode. In the next one, we will talk about the working principle and different types of microphones. If you enjoyed this episode, you may hit like, leave a comment, or share to those interested. For more content like this, you may also subscribe. See you in the next video.